God blessed man and gave the ability to produce more, to fill this earth, to subdue the nations. It's true. Genesis 1, 28. God breathed into man his own breath. It's true. Genesis 2, 7. But when man sinned, because the evil came and cheated him, cheated Eve, and through Eve, Adam, and they have fallen in sin, and they come to realize that the wages of sin is death. The first thing that brought to them is shame. The second thing that brought them is to blame each other, to hurt each other. The Lord, they were not facing each other. The, they were made for each other. They became enemies. That's what the sin will do. Because there is a power behind the sin. The power of evil. That tries to take us away from God. And away from one another. And when sin entered into their lives. They felt naked. They felt shameful. They had no courage to stand before God. To face the problem. To face the challenges. Not to return to God. Sin will not allow us to return to God. Sin will bind us. Yes. Sin will make us to be bondage. But God's love cannot be stopped by our sin. Human sin has no capacity to stop the love of God. Because God's love is stronger than stronger than man's fall, fault, as light is stronger than darkness. That's why God said to Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 8, Will not those who have fallen get up again? Will not those who have lost their way find their way again? I am the Lord, your God. Yes. The love of the Lord, as we read in the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 20 to 22. The love of the Lord never fails. His mercy is new every morning. His love is seen in the birds. They build the nest. You remove the nest because it's a problem for you. They don't tell other birds, no, 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 our nest is destroyed. I am so angry. I am so upset. So I will not stop the nest. No. They go and build somewhere else. That is thrown away. They don't get angry and say, now all my nests are gone, my days are gone, now the time has come to lay the egg and I have no nest, so I will go to the sea, jump and commit suicide. I don't think they do so. Because the inbuilt nature which God gave it to them, don't give up. God loves you. Don't give up, for God never gives you up. If God never gives you up, why should you give up? Why should you give up? For your God has not given you up. Yes. So God came down to meet Adam and Eve. That's what we read in Genesis 3, 7. It is not they who came to God, but God came to them. Why? They have sinned against God. They are supposed to go to God. They are supposed to ask God. Love has no answers. Human existence will have many questions. 
but when god's love appears all those questions disappear the child cries because the brother has destroyed her toy the daughter has got so many things to complain against the brother the daughter has got so much to cry and show that she is hurt and wounded and so on but the moment the mother comes and hits the baby brother the baby's complaint stops because the baby comes to know my mother is still with me and that's what god does to his children he rushes to tell each one of us he is still with us as long as the breath of god is in us god will continue to walk with us trying to pull us trying to hit those who hit us and trying to keep us close to her bosom no wonder people call lord shall i call you mother our father our friend what is your name yes the love of god so as soon as the saw the lord adam and eve they were filled with the shame because of sin they were filled with the shame they were filled with nakedness but god was not filled with the shame that why did i create you stupid you are no he never said he was not ashamed of their sinfulness because he can't afford to lose them he created them for himself so he calls them my son adam where are you my daughter eve where are you the voice of god comes down with great care but noise of the heart is not prepared to meet god the voice of the lord reaches them with the love but the noises in their hearts does in allow them to meet the lord the enemy keeps our hearts with all kinds of noises that we may not hear the voice of god that's why god himself came love never complains love first listens love knows that something is wrong but love has the capacity to listen even when things have gone wrong so god ask adam where are you what happened they were hiding themselves they don't want to show their face but they don't know the creator of them for him the nose is also same the back also same he loves every part of us so they were hiding themselves suddenly he they found a hand because they have given only the back so god touched the back so they have to turn he could embrace them they were only blaming oh that lady which you gave me led me to sin or oh, that snake that cheated me to sin they are full of complaints blames adam doesn't want to look at the eve 
man uses the woman as a object of pleasure when things go wrong it is the woman who goes through the burnt she suffers man just to wash off his hands and goes away man is always tries to escape always tries to escape but the woman has to bear the child of the sin that's why god did not allow adam to complain about eve god did not allow him to proceed he said okay stop don't complain but find out what is the solution in your god you will find your solution don't dwell on your problem hold on to the solution that god gives to you hold on to god to find your solution many of the times we hold on to the problem and we complain and we cry we make everything dirty 